Well, not that you ever want to see any of your uh, fellow linemen, anyone go down. But what's it say about all the, the guys that come in as backups and are able to still perform so well? I think we do a great job of having next man up mentality. Uh, you saw what Quinn Miners was able to come in and do yesterday. Batani Moody's done the same thing early on in the season. Uh, Cameron Fleming came in and did a heck of a job. Calvin Anderson, I couldn't even begin to talk about how good of a game he played, how nice it was to play next to him and him to fill really big shoes with Garrett Bowles. So he did, they all did an extremely good job. I think that we just do a great job throughout the week, working it in practice. Coaches do, do a good job of getting these guys in. And when push comes to shove, uh, they got to be ready when their name's called. And they did exactly that. Dalton Lloyd talked yesterday about you guys being due for a game like that in the running game. Could, could feel that it was coming at some point. What, what was it about yesterday that really allowed you guys to just almost have you know nearly 200 yards rushing and be as effective as you were? Yeah, I think a lot of things play into it. I think that when it comes to the run game, you got to be able to run the ball to try to establish it. Not five, six times, not 10 times. You got to be able to run it 20 plus times to establish the run. And I think that it was the first game that the offense and defense really meshed really well together. There'd be some games where our defense is balling and we just couldn't put up points. And so we had to go to the pass really quick. Or there's some games where we might be playing well and our defense is struggling a little bit, so it's a tighter game we have to pass. But we got in a situation where we were up 10 points early in the game and we were able to run the ball, not be worried about catch, playing catch up, not worrying about having to get it down the field and do two minute. We were able to establish that run game. And when you're able to do that as an offensive lineman, you're able to wear down defensive linemen. Those guys have to stay out there. They don't have time to sub. And then by the time you go to the pass, they've been out there for six runs in a row. Now they're not pinning their ears back. They're dog tired. So a lot of things play into it. But that's an offensive lineman's dream is when you can be up by that many points and run the ball in the fourth quarter to win, uh, to win the football game. Can you not establish the run if, if you're down even in the midst of a first half? You can. It's just tough. It's tough. I mean, this is a league where you want to win football games. So say you're down 10-0 early. <clears throat> You know, you don't want to run the run the ball every single down because you know that there's only limited time and you want to get caught back up in the football game. And if you run the ball and it's a two yard gain and it's second and eight and you're up 20, you're probably going to run that thing again. But if it's second and eight and you're down 10 points, you only got two yards, you're probably going to drop to a drop back pass or a play action pass. And it's just about playing catch up. So it's not that you can't establish the run. That's not an excuse. Uh, I'm sure in games that we've been down this year, we might not have just ran the ball better. But from my experience of being in the NFL as an offensive lineman, when you're up, it makes it a heck of a lot easier to keep establishing that run game um, throughout the football game. And you love that. You get a, we mauled them yesterday, and uh, that's a good football team right there. And that was a huge game for us that I don't think probably any of you guys up here would have expected us to win. Um, but we knew here as a Bronco organization that we had a great chance to do it, and we went out there and did it. Go. How do you leave with your shoulder hanging a little bit? Because I take it you're okay since you're there. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, what happened there? I got landed on. I got landed on. I got back up, finished the drive. There were still like eight plays left in the drive, so I finished it. Went to the sideline, and uh, they wanted to check me out. We were up in the game, so Coach Munchak just said, hey, let's rest you. We need you for next week. We had already had two injuries on the offensive line. So um, got Schlotman some reps in there, number 71, and he kicked some butts. So like I said earlier, we got guys that can fill in and do a heck of a job for us, which is nice. Hey, as somebody who grew up here, you know about, obviously, Broncos country and how they travel, but what was it like seeing so much orange out there? I tell you what, I, I was confused. I didn't know if the Cowboys fans were cheering for us, but it was like third quarter and we'd score a touchdown and it felt like a home game when you hear the crowd roar. I'm like, what is going on? Is AT&T Stadium's like, they cheering for us or what? But the more I looked around, there was a ton of uh, ton of orange out there, man, orange and blue. So that was great. Broncos country traveled well. I'm glad we could get a big win for them. And now we have a great opportunity to go six and four in the bye week, which is I think very important um, opportunity to win and be at the top of our division before we really start most of our league play. I mean, after this week, we'll have seven games left in the season, and five of them will be AFC West football teams. So um, that's when we really need to get down and get to work. What Don't have you much learned from these last two weeks, Dalton, that you guys can now apply going forward because you kind of put yourself up against, back against the wall a little bit with that losing streak. Yeah. So what have you learned from these last two weeks now moving forward? You can, it can be more consistent instead of you know, the yeah. roller coaster it was these first eight yeah, I think just working well with each other, Troy. Um, we worked really well as a team on Sunday. And this is a team game. You could look back and say the defense had some great games that we lost. Or you could look back and say the offense had some pretty good games that we still lost, you know. Um, but we worked as a team this Sunday. So I think if we can continue to work as a team and come out early. It's a lot of games. Steelers, Raiders. We start coming back at the end of the game, third, fourth quarter. It's too little, too late. we got to come out and do what we did against the Cowboys 
to every team this season. We've got to come out hot. We've got to get stops early. We've got to score points early. I was really impressed with our offense yesterday with converting on third down. It's been a big uh, thing for our offense this year um, is maybe not converting on third down when we need to, but we converted a lot of third downs, and then we got in the red zone. We weren't settling for a lot of field goals. Yeah, we kicked a few, um, but we punched it in when we needed to. So I think all those phases moving forward, punching it in when you're in the red zone, not settling for field goals, doing better on third down, and starting the game early, I think those are some key factors um, in us going forward. But you beat a team like that who won six in a row, top of, top of the NFL, a lot of people would say. We, now that we beat them, they might not say that. But before we, we beat the Cowboys, people were saying that. Uh, we can beat anybody. And we know that we've known that we could do that. We just got to make sure we do. Dalton, what's the reaction in your room to losing a guy like Graham Glasgow? I mean, unfortunately, he's just kind of been one hit after another for him kind of since he got here. Graham's a role model. Um, since Graham showed up, I've learned a ton from Graham Glasgow. I love watching the dude. He's so technical. Great guy to have in the room. Uh, he's one of those vets that uh, helps out the younger guys. He teaches guys. You can learn a lot from him. Just a good dude to be around. And like you said, I feel like he um, has had some bad luck. You know, he battles through playing an AFib the whole first game of the year. He's a warrior. We all know that. Um, but when you break a guy's leg, it's kind of hard to be a warrior through that. So I think we all just have so much respect for him. We know that we have guys that can come in and fill in, whether that's Natani Moody or Quinn Miners. I have a lot of faith in those guys. But um, my heart goes out for him. We just got to be there for him. And we all know Graham. We all know Graham. He's going to get recovered from that. He's going to be back. And uh, we're going to miss him for sure. Dalton, is there, a, is there an identity for this offense right now? Or does it still change week to week? Or how would you view that? Well, shoot, you saw an identity uh, Sunday that you probably haven't seen all year, right? Um, that's the identity we would like to assume. We would like to assume the role of we're going to maul you down the field in the run game. We're going to rush for 150 plus, and we're going to play action when it's needed and throw it to Tim Patrick, Cortland Sutton, or Jerry Judy. Um, that's the identity we would like to have, I'd imagine. I don't speak for Coach Shermer, but um, <laughs> offensive lineman identity, that's what, the, that's what me, my guys in my room, that's what we would like. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. I think that our identity as an offense is coming together more and more as we go throughout the year. I think we're continuing to mesh better. Teddy's getting more comfortable. and. We know Teddy can drop back and pass. We know we have amazing wide receivers with a lot of length. Uh, having Jerry back is huge. Uh, we also know we can run the ball. Um, not saying it's easy, easy as an offensive line, but when you got Williams and Gordon back there, 33 and 25, it's pretty fun blocking, man. So um, I'd say our identity is slowly becoming that we can run the football. But you also got to protect the pass because we got some dogs uh, at the wide receiver position. What was well. it about yesterday? Why was yesterday special? Uh, for a lot of things, I think the, the whole press conference talking about some of the reasons of starting early and converting on third down and making sure we ran the football all goes into that. Um, and the tough deal is, is every week we look at teams before the game, a lot of people might have looked at the Cowboys and said, you know, I don't know what kind of chance the Broncos have. You know, they're four and four, you know, uh, Cowboys are six and one. But in our room when we watch the film, we know the opportunities that are there. And there's games that we felt the same way about the Cowboys and we went out and lost to the Raiders 34 to 24 and really 34 to 17 because we scored at the end of the game. Um, it was just one of those games that we made it happen and it clicked. Sometimes you have a game plan, you go into that game saying, hey, we know we can do this against them, but you don't do it so well for a lot of reasons, whether that's a player mistake on the offensive line or a quarterback, wide receiver, whatever it may be. But I think we executed at a high level yesterday and we worked together as a team and I think that that came to fruition with such a big win. You saw that yesterday, you, you guys are like a stone. When you get going, you're going. What do you have to do when it doesn't start like that? And those other games you mentioned the middle where you're on the back foot and on the front. Yeah. And keeping that confidence, you can see mentally when you guys are confident, there it goes. But yeah. then the other thing happens. Yeah, I think we got to just learn to fight through it. Um, it's not an excuse. I think we have some younger guys in our football team. I mean, I'm only in my third year. By no means am I a veteran. Um, but when we get put in those situations, as an offense, we have to learn to calm down, take a deep breath, say, we know we're OK. Let's get this going now. Let's not wait to the third, third quarter. Let's get our confidence going. I think that just comes with growth. And I hope that the, the next time that happens, we answer the bell. Um, you know, against the Washington football team, it was 10 to 10. Things weren't going our way. First half, they kind of did. Really, really uh, slow third quarter. We got the ball 10 to 10, and we had to drive the whole field and punch it in, and we did. Um, so that made me happy. I think there's a lot of growth with our offense. So let's hope that we're growing and we're gaining that confidence to the point where we do get put in those tough situations. Maybe it's not tied. Maybe we're down 10 to 0 early that we can make sure we bounce back from that. But I'd say every game we played in, uh, a lot of teams would probably lay down. You look at the Steelers game, what an awful first half for the offense, right? I mean, it was awful. 
I don't remember how much we were down, but we stay around. We got heart. We got heart on this offense, and I think that that's something that can always be remembered. Is like, hey, when we have been down this year, we've always battled back and fought the whole game, and we made a lot of games that we were down a lot made them pretty interesting. So we just got to make sure to keep pushing forward in that respect. What's it like when you see Javante get one of those <coughs> I love it. I love it, man. Also, my dog, Quinn Miners, you know, he was out there pushing it right along, doing a heck of a job, and that's kind of the role that, that I like to take. So I saw that. I'm like, oh, dang, okay, all right. I see you hustling downfield and, and mauling dudes. That's what's up. But um, he's just a beast, man. I love blocking. Like I mentioned earlier, I love blocking for that dude. Those guys aren't going to stop until you bring them down, and that's heart. That's drive. I don't think anyone knows how special number 33 is, but he's a very special football player um, for a lot of offensive uh you know, linemen, um, we've been around a lot of guys, and we all agree that guy's very special. Melvin's very special as well. He's going to push for every single yard as well. So um, having guys like that, man, they make it fun. Yesterday was a, a fun football game beating America's team, man. So maybe Broncos are America's team today, right? <laughs>